हेलो एवरीवन लोंगानी क्लिनिक्स यूट्यूब चैनल वेलकम्स ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी अ रेपट्री द नेम ऑफ द रेपट्री इज रेपट्री टू द मोडालिटीज बाय डॉक्टर सैम्यूल वॉर्सेस्टर एमडी सो दिस इज अ वेरी कॉम्पैक्ट रेपट्री दिस रेपट्री वाज ओरिजिनली कंपाइल्ड इन द ईयर एटीन इट्स इंडियन एडिशन came out in 10th April 1968 the original title of this book was repertory to the modalities in their relations to temperature air water winds weather and seasons this repertory was first made to herring's contains materia medica alone later all the symptoms coming within the scope of the book which are found in lippe and hell were added together with many from allen also the star symptoms are regarded as characteristics by at least two of the above name authors so we we'll revise name of the book repertory to the modalities name of the author dr samuel worcester year of publication is 1880 the edition first edition 1880 first indian edition came out in 1968 total number of chapters are 15 typography single grade that is italics the source book herring's contains materia medica with additions from allen lippe and hell the type of this repertory symptom facet repertory now we will see the introduction in the preface the author states that this book was originally compiled to meet a want felt in his daily practice with its help he has been able to decide upon the indicated remedy in a few moment for many times while without it a longer search would have been required than the busy physician is able or the indolent physician is willing to make he also emphasizes that a repertory should not take the place of materia medica and it ought only to serve as a guide with the help of a repertory a physician may know where in the materia medica he has to seek for the remedy which will probably cover the totality of the symptoms for no prescription can be scientifically based upon one single symptom now we'll see about the author author's name is samuel worcester he was the lecturer on insanity and its jurisprudence at boston university school of medicine then he was a member of American Institute of Homeopathy then member of the Mascots Homeopathic Medical Society now we'll see what are the modalities itself modalities are the one of the characteristic symptoms which helps to find prescribing totality in the case of disease most of the time these characteristic features are voluntarily narrated by patient himself or observed by the homeopathic physician modalities are one of the important component of a complete symptom modalities they are the modifiers of sickness this idea of complete symptom was first introduced by boninghusser when he was going through the materia medica pura and chronic diseases he noticed that majority of the symptoms did not have modalities modalities include causation time temperature 
open air, posture, being alone, motion, sleep, eating, drinking, touch, pressure, discharges, etc. Very often found that modality is lacking in the prescription. In a majority of the element of amelioration is generally not available. Even in homeopathic matra medica and repertories, we find that amelorations are not given much importance. In practice too, one can observe that patients do not mention the relieving factors but always describe the aggravating factors. In Bogart's concept of totality, he gives first importance to the modalities. Bogart says in BBCR, all experienced homeopaths should pay a great attention to modalities. Bogar says in BBCR, general or special modalities to the time of day are much greater or they are given much greater importance. It is self-evident that modality should be specialized, for example, various kinds of motion, craving and aversions to various food furnish some of the most important points in deciding the remedy. H.A. Robert, Herbert Robert says in chapter Drug Proving, we must consider everything that tends to increase or diminish the equilibrium. From the standpoint of individualization, modalities assume the highest importance. Very often, lack of observation on the part of patient or the physician leaves this vital data out of picture. Now see about the modalities cause. A full and detailed consideration of positive factors in the genesis of illness is imperative to its control and eradication. Causative factors could decide the grounded under 1. Predisposing, precipitating and third one is a maintaining. Causative factors of emotional sphere are all important in the physical sphere are next in importance. Now we will see about the modalities mainly the cause. A full and detailed consideration of causative factors in the genesis of illness is imperative to its control and eradication. Causative factors could be ground or they are grouped under 1. Predisposing, precipitating and third one is maintaining. Causative factors of emotional sphere are all important in the physical sphere are next in importance. Now we'll see the about modalities. First one is aggravation. Aggravating factors in the emotional sphere are all important. Next in importance are the factors which could be considered to be in the general sphere. The particular aggravations comes last in this group. Second one, amelioration. Ameliorations are considered last as very often the patient has few observations to make on this point. His attention being mostly focused on the aggravating or causative factors. According to our master Hahnemann, there are two types of causes. One, exciting cause of the acute disease. Second, fundamental cause, which is generally due to the chronic myism. In these investigations, the ascertainable physical constitution of patient, especially when the disease is chronic, his moral and intellectual character, his occupation, mode of living and habits, his social and domestic relations, his age, sexual function, etc. are to be taken into consideration. Now we will see the arrangement. The book has been arranged on a different plan from other repertories. The difference will tend to make the work more practical and useful. Third one, in nearly every instance, the exact language of the text has been given together with associated symptoms 
thus enabling the more careful discrimination to be made. Four, the star symptoms are such as are regarded as characteristic by at least two of the above name authors. Now about the repertory we will see. Total number of sections are 83. Total number of pages 168. The biggest chapter effects of open air 10. Smallest chapter cold application 5. Every chapter starts in fresh page. The chapter's names are given on the top of the page with page number on right side. According to publisher, the book contains author's own clinical experience too. Rubrics arrangement will continue. Every chapter has got sections. Under each section headings, modalities for the particular sections are given. Main part of rubric under each heading given in capital bold letter. In rubrics, modalities alone not given, sensation and locations are also given. Each rubric given as a symptom and it contains single drug. Exception, for example, stunning headache in the morning, after eating and in the sunshine, Naxomica and Sanguinaria can is also given. Drugs are given in italics. In many rubrics, sensations, conditions and modalities are given in parentheses. For example, page number 16, 25, 50, 65, 74, 81, etc. The biggest rubric given on page number 24. Causative modalities are also given on the page number 15 and 38. If drug has got two names, another name is given in parentheses. For example, semifisi Simisifuga. The name is Actia racimosa. Here is given on the page number 42 and 43. In some places, second part of name given in parenthesis. For example, Arania. In the bracket, you will find Diadema. Page number 73. The chapters will see the repertory has 15 chapters with sections in each and every chapter. First, the sun effects of its heat and light. 2. External heat or warm. 4. Becoming warm. 2. Effects of cold in general. 5. Cold application. 2. Food and drinks. 4. Being covered, uncovered and undressed. 7. Becoming warm in bed. 3. In room and entering room. Effects of open air. Then you will find the weather. 14. 12. Water. 10. 13. The seasons. 4. New or full moon, then 15th one is effects of thunderstorm. There is no section. There are total 15 chapters with sections in each. They are the chapter 1, the sun, effects of its heat and light. Under that, the section 1, beneficial effects prefer sunny places. Under that heading you will find head, generalities, chill, fever and sweat. Now chapter 1, section 1. We will see some of the rubrics. Head, tension on head, better from warmth, especially heat of the sun. The drug mentioned is strontium carb. Then under the heading chill, fever and sweat. Chill with continuous desire for warmth, particularly that of sun. The drug mentioned is Conium Mac. Then chilliness in the back. Seeks a warm place with sleepiness. The drug mentioned is Kali Bichromicum. Then under section 2. Injurious effects of the sun. Under that heading you will find mind, sensorium, head inner, head outer, eyes, then face, cuff, nerves, generalities, chill, fever, sweat and then comes the skin. Now under section 2, the rubrics you will find mind, memory weak, weeps about her weak mind. Also after sunstroke, 
the drug mentioned is stramonium then under the rubric eyes pupils dilated eyes upturned sunstroke eyes roll outward and up convulsions the drug mentioned is glonium then sunlight causes headache the drug given is ignatia then under the rubric generalities sneezing in the sun the drug mentioned is merk sulf then under the rubric skin erythema from exposure to sun rays the drug mentioned is cantharis now we will see the chapter 2 second chapter external heat or warmth under that section 1 desire for or relieved by external heat or warmth under that you will find the headings head inner head outer nose face teeth abdomen stool limbs upper limbs lower all the limbs generality chill fever and sweat and tissues the section 2 worse from or aversion to external heat or warmth under that you will find worse inner head worse outer head then worse eyes nose face teeth stomach breathing cough all limbs generalities chill fever sweat tissues and skin then section 3 exposure to heat or stove then section 4 worse from or not relieved by heat of stove now chapter 2 the first section will find some of the rubrics head inner here you will find forehead stitches also in the forehead also in the temples worse from stooping moving head eyes better raising the head and from heat the drug mention is kalikap then brain as if loose with wabbling on motion as if it stuck the sides of the head better from warmth except warmth of bed the drug mention is nux moschata stupefying headache with buzzing better from warmth and motion the drug mention is rustox painful tumors on the scalp like blood boils worse from pressure and motion better from heat the drug mention is kalikap temple sensitive to touch from lying on them worse in wet cold weather better from warm the drug mention is nux moschata nux moschata toothache with swelling of the cheek better by heat of the bed and warm application the drug mention is lycopodium to take worse in the evening in bed by cold from heat the drug mention is sulfuric acid then under section 2 cough cough aggravated by warmth the drug mention is drosera then chill internally worse from external heat the drug mention is epicac chill coldness and shivering in the afternoon and not relieved by external warmth the drug mention is lora shiras chilliness and shivering over the whole body in a warm room the drug mention is tilia dry red pimples only itching when exposed to the heat the drug mention is sarsa parila then under the section 3 chill begins towards the evening relieved relieved near the warm stove and after lying down the drug mention is kalika pain in head relieved by warmth of fire the drug mention is sambud great desire for warmth of stove the drug mention is sicuta then under section 4 wants to be near the stove but it increases the chill the drug mention is sincona china now we'll see chapter 3 becoming warm section 1 good results from becoming warm then section 2 is bad results from becoming warm now we will see some of the rubrics under this chapter chapter 3 the section 1 generalities amelioration from growing warm the drug mention is kalika then under section 2 painful sensitiveness of the scalp 
स्किन और स्काल्फ स्किन पील्स ऑफ विद ईचिंग एंड स्मार्टिंग वर्स इविनिंग गेटिंग वॉम द ड्रग मैंशन इज टैफी सगारिया डिम साइट एस्पेशली ऑन गेटिंग वॉम फ्रॉम एक्सरसाइज द ड्रग मैंशन इज पलसेटिला शॉर्ट रैक ऑफ एज सुन एज ही गेट्स वॉम द ड्रग मैंशन इज पलसेटिला नाउ वील सी द फोर्थ चैप्टर इफेक्ट्स ऑफ कोल्ड इन जनरल अंडर दैट सेक्शन वन Beneficial effects from cold in general. Section टू worse from cold or becoming cold. Section थ्री lessen sensitiveness to cold. Fourth, take cold easily and increase sensitiveness to cold. The fifth one, ill effects from taking cold. Chapter फोर in section वन the rubrics we will see. Stitches in temples, mostly on right side, from within to without, better from cold. The drug mentioned is lycopus. Now we will see the chapter five, cold applications. Under that section one, better from cold application. Section two is worse from cold application. We will see the rubric. Chapter five, section one, teeth. Stabbing in gums worse from hot application and better from cold. The drug mentioned is glonium. Now we'll see the chapter six, food and drink. Under that section one, desire for or better from warm food or drink. Section two, aversion to or worse from warm food or drink. Section three: Desire for or good results from cold food and drink. Section four: Aversion to or worse from cold food or drink. We'll see some of the rubrics. Chapter six, section one: Head inner. Sick headache relieved by drinking warm water. The drug mentioned is theriodion. Cough. Cough better from eating or drinking warm things. The drug mentioned is spongia. Chapter seven. Being covered, uncovered, and undressed. Under that sections are better from covering or warm wraps. Two. Worse from being covered. Three. Better from uncovering. Four. Worse from or not relieved by uncovering. Five. Worse from undressing. Six desire to be uncovered. Seven averse to uncovering. Chapter eight becoming warm in bed. Under that sections one relieved by getting warm in bed. Two warmth of bed does not relieve. Three aggravation from warmth of bed. Now the chapter nine in room and entering room. Under that the sections are one. Better in room. Two. Worse in room. Three. Better in warm room. Four. Worse in warm room. Then worse in warm close room. Then good effects of cold room. Bad effects of cold room. Worse in cold damp dwellings. Better or worse in dark room. Better on entering room. Worse on entering room. The last one. Worse on entering warm room. Now we'll see the chapter ten, effects of open air. Under that you will find the sections like better in open air, worse in open air, better exercising in open air, worse from exercising in open air, desire for fresh air or open air, aversion to open air, better from open air, worse in cold air and cold open air. Worse from cold damp air. Sensitive to cold air. Sensitive to droughts. Better from inhaling air. Sensitive to inspired air. The last one is ill effects from having hair cut. Now we will see the chapter eleven. The weather. Under that the sections are better in warm air or weather. Worse in warm air or weather. Worse in cold weather. Better in cold weather. Worse in dry weather. Better in wet weather. Worse in damp air or wet weather. Worse in hot damp air or weather. Worse in cold damp weather. 
sensitive to change of weather worse when temperature changes from warm to cold warm days and cold nights sensitive to wind and the last one is worse from dry cold winds then comes the chapter 12 water under that you will find sections ill effects of getting wet better from washing worse from washing wet application better from cold washing or bathing worse from cold washing or bathing better from warm bathing worse from warm bathing worse from sea bathing and the last one is children dislike being wash now we will see the chapter 13 the seasons under that sections are worse in spring worse in summer worse in autumn and worse in winter under the chapter 13 the seasons the rubrics nose spring coryza the drug mention is allium sepa stool diarrhea worse during spring and summer the drug mention is lachesis nose coryza in spring and summer weather drug mention is gelsemia cup returns every winter drug mention is sorinum skin symptoms worse in winter season the drug mention is alumina now we will see the chapter 14 new and full moon under that rubrics sexual organ female uterine flow during new or full moon the drug mention is crocus sativus epilepsy worse during solstice and full moon the drug mention is calcarea carp skin symptoms worse new and full moon the drug mention is alumina then comes the last chapter 15 effects of thunderstorm under that the rubric you will find the section mind restless with attacks of anxiety especially during thunderstorm the drug mention is natrum carb now we will see the special features of this repertory cases with more modalities can be referred to this repertory modalities in regards with all types are mentioned fever cases with more modalities can be referred as it's taken from herring condense matra medica this work is authenticated each rubric contains sensations and locations apart from modalities all the main rubrics are given in capital bold almost all the rubrics have single remedy causative modalities are also mentioned in some of the chapter in the chapter effects of cold in gender section 2 worse from cold or becoming cold generalities elements from cold and damp arania is given if the drug has another name it is given in parenthesis for example simisifiga the bracket you will find actia racemosa second part of the name of drug is given often in parenthesis for example arania in bracket diadema the very particular sensation location conditions and modalities are given in parenthesis for example in chapter in room and entering room section 8 worse in cold damp dwelling etc generalities cold damp sellers aggravation or bring on complaints in the bracket you will find sciatica arsenic is given some of the symptoms in this repertory are start such as regarded as characteristic by list or at least two of the authors mentioned in the source book this book is very handy and provides easy reference regarding aggravation and amelioration it includes nearly all the modalities now we will see the demerits of this book it does not include modalities with respect to position rest and in general aggravation or amelioration 
repetition of the same rubrics in same section number of drugs are less each rubric contains single drug no index given for drugs gradation of drugs are not mentioned this repertory can be used for only reference purpose not for systemic repertorization number of possessions are less the order is not maintained properly in arrangement of the rubrics this repertory alone is not enough for a single case thank you for listening the lecture on repertory to the modalities by samuel worcester if you like the video then please do subscribe and share our channel longani clinics thank you thank you for listening the lecture on repertory to the modalities by worcester if you like the video then please do subscribe and share our channel longani clinics thank you and see you soon with a new video on repertory